Hi, thanks for stopping by. In this Tinker Knowing project, I'm going to be adding an air assist upgrade to my K40 laser engraver. Let me show you how. The first thing I want to add to my K40 laser is an air assist line. Now, many makers online have said that this is an essential upgrade and adds to the life of the lenses and also gives you a better finish result. Now there are a bunch of kits online, but we've got a 3D printer here in the Tinker Space and there's no excuse for not using that. I found this nozzle on Thingiverse which fits around the laser lens and directs a jet of air down towards the focal point of the laser. This piece came off the printer without any problems, even the overhang didn't seem to give me any trouble. However, while the print is great, there's not enough room in the laser assembly to manoeuvre it into position without disassembling things. That wouldn't normally be a problem, but in this case it means you need to recalibrate the entire laser path. More searching on Thingiverse led me to this nozzle. The same design, but the split ring allows it to flex and ought to make it easy to fit. The problem here is that the ring is just too thick. If you look back through this channel, you'll see that I've modified Thingiverse models before, and that's what I did here too. I took the first nozzle and opened up the ring. You can see that this has a lot more flex to it, enough to fit easily around the laser lens, and it retains enough of a grip to hold itself in place. It also accepts an M3 nut and a screw to pull the two sides together if you feel like you need a tighter fit. All these nozzles accept an air hose that can be connected to a pump. So I headed to the aquatics department of our local garden center and picked up the cheapest pump that they had. I connected that to a length of air hose that I ordered online and tested the flow against a piece of paper towel. On its own, the pump doesn't have enough power to move the paper towel. When you push the end into the nozzle, you can see that the airflow is modified and it becomes strong enough to deflect the paper. This is the Bernoulli effect. The same amount of air is trying to fit through a smaller opening and that causes it to speed up. It's the same effect you get when you put your thumb over the end of a water hose pipe. So to fit this upgrade, I needed to feed the hose through the hole in the back of the laser and up and over the air extractor. You can see that I've added the nozzle to the lens assembly and the hose pushes into that. You may think that a drag chain is needed here, but with the hose sticking up in the air, it's kept away from the gantry and I've learned that all I need to do to keep the rest of the hose in check is to tape it in place. So now it's time to test it out. I have a piece of laser safe MDF here and I'm going to engrave my logo onto it. I've also covered one half of the piece in regular masking tape. The window is open, the extractor is on, so let's get burning. The first pass is with air assist turned off. You can see that the laser generates a lot of smoke. This is where the particles in the wood are vaporised and are drawn away by the extractor. Even with the piece this close to the vent, the gases do build up and over time they can stick to the lens and impact on performance. The second test is with air assist on and you can see that the smoke behaves a lot differently. In addition to this, the amount of flame present is reduced. This is because the particles are moved away from the path of the laser by the jet of air. The third test moves on to the masked area with the air assist turned off.
and then we run it one final time with the air assist on. These results may not be what you expect to see, so let's take a closer look. It's satisfying to pull off the masking though and reveal the clean cuts beneath. The first two engravings are directed to the wood, while the first looks okay, the second one looks seriously toasted. As the air assist has blown some of the hot smoke back down onto the wood where it has stained the surface. Now I should be able to remove that with some light sanding. The other two tests are the masked ones and you can see that the air assist on the last test has blown the smoke back down again there too. Looking even closer you can see the first engraving does have smoke build up in some areas but obviously not as much as the second one does. Looking closely at the final two there is a subtle difference. While the unassisted cut appears clean there are still particles of soot in the engraving. The final pass has the best of all worlds, with clean edges, no soot buildup, reduced smoke and less fire through the whole engraving process. So I think it's clear to see that the air assist nozzle does a great job and removes a lot of the particulate matter from underneath the lens. And combined with adequate masking, I've shown that you can achieve great results. I'll put the design for this air assist nozzle on Thingiverse and there'll be a link for that in the description below. Down there you'll also find the comment section which is a great way for you to let me know if you found this video useful. Don't forget you can also contact me on social media and through the website at tinkernearing.uk. But that's it for this time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.